Hey guys, would you imagine that this patch is worth more than 1000 US dollars? Well, indeed, there is a market for this and patches are everywhere around the fighter world. This is the Fighter Show with Flo and here we go. the Demo Center in Munich. This is the next Fighter Show production and today we are talking about fighter pilot patches. Everybody knows them, everybody loves them. They are often bold, sometimes a bit bonkers, but they are definitely special. Many hours are put into the thought about the design and that they are produced often in very small quantity in order to keep the mystic. Even the Fighter Show has its own Fighter Show patch and we are distributing that to every guest who is part of one of our episodes and since the start of the series it's been a very successful patch. Now before we are talking about how and why those patches exist and uh, why it all started we're gonna have a look on how they are produced. <laughs> Hi everyone, we are here at the outskirts of Munich and we are sitting in one of the last companies that is stitching high quality patches in Germany. Company is called Crazy Runnings, they are doing the famous fighter show patches and next to me is sitting the owner of the business. Hi Harry, how are you doing? Hi Flo, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Harry, you are showing us today how the fighter show patches are made, right? Absolutely, with pleasure. Cool. Now, you're sitting here on a computer. What exactly are you doing at the moment? I'm doing the uh, Fighter Show patches program. Okay, that means what? Um, it shows the machine what should be embroidered first and what uh, next. Okay, and when you finish that, I mean, at the moment it looks a bit like a, a plain stitch. Yes. What, what's happening as step two then? Then we're transferred to the machine and then we test it. Okay, can we have a look at it? Absolutely. <laughs> Now, here we are at step two for our fighter ship patch, right? We are standing here at the embroidery machine, Harry. That's true. Right. What is that machine doing to our patches? Um, it's stitching the design into a piece of fabric. Okay, that means the fabric is lying there, all the stitches are coming down. Yes. How many colors do you need for uh, the fighter ship patch? For this design, three. Okay, easy, right? Yes, yes absolutely. And uh, how many stitches do you need? 10,000. Um, takes wow. about 20 minutes until, until it's finished. So Harry, now here we've got all the stitches done already for our patch, right? Yes. Um, and uh, now we flip it around. Yes. Oh, backside looks pretty raw. Yes. So what's the next step here? We now glue it and then we put the Velcro on it. Okay, and after that? After that we cut it around these lines. And you cut it with what? With a scissor. So really, with a normal scissor? It's a sharp one. But you do it by hand? Yes. Wow, this man is doing handcrafted fighter show patches for us. Full respect for this, Harry. Uh, now, let's glue, right? Yes. Okay, cool. We have it, our handcrafted fighter ship patch. Many thanks, Harry. And uh, by the way, this is yours because everybody who's taking part in the fighter show is getting his personal fighter ship badge. The funny part here, though, is you just made it yourself. Thank you very much, Thank Harry. Very much. Thanks, Crazy Runnings. Now, everybody should know how the fighter ship patches are made. We see each other in the studio, and I will push the button for the next badge of fighter ship patches. <laughs> Well, it's always amazing on how much effort there is just for one fighter ship patch. Well, now we know how they are produced, but still a question, why do they exist? And did you know that there is a huge collector's market for patches and you could easily pay more than 1,000 euros just for one patch? Well, 
there is one guest I invite you today for you who knows that all. He, others are collecting stamps or Pokemon cards in their leisure time. He is collecting patches. He has more than 2,000 in his collection and he's a real expert in that. Welcome with me, a good old friend of mine, Martin Aguera. <laughs> To the fighter show. Thank you, Flo. Now, Martin, thank you for being here. Thanks and, for having uh, me. I mean, let's talk about patches. You've got more than 2,000. I mean, how did you come to the idea to collect patches? Well, I didn't start collecting patches per se, but okay. um, when I was a kid, um, I was living near a former U.S. Air Force base, and uh, I started collecting name tags, you know, of pilots yeah. uh, that they wear in their flight suit. And it's a big tradition in the U.S. Air Force that when a pilot leaves the squadron after two or three years they leave a name tag on the squadron bar. And I saw this once and I was really fascinated. So I was you, you nail it on that? Uh, I use Velcro, so okay. that's uh, much easier. Uh, but I was hooked, uh, yeah. literally. And when I got to know a lot of these guys, they would often send uh, patches too. And that's just how I learned a lot about the patches in, you know, okay. that exist out there. That means you, you, you're collecting uh, name, patches, name tags and, and patches in, in parallel. Yeah, yeah so okay. to speak. Two collections. Good. We are wondering about the fact, why do those patches exist? I mean. Is there a reason or what, what's the reason for it? Absolutely. I mean, being a fighter pilot in a, in a squadron, you know, means being in a very close unity. You know, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a brotherhood today, probably sisterhood. You know, it, it's, it's, it's a strong bond that these guys form. They work, uh, you know, together, you know, for a number of years. They train together. And if the worst thing happens, they go to war together. So that creates a very strong unity, and that's displayed by the squadron patch. They're all very proud about you know, the outfit they fly with, and you know, they, they take that very seriously. Well, and you brought us some of your, some patches of your collection, and, and there are also patches for various occasions and, 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 and reasons, right? right. Yeah, so, uh, right. I mean, if I, if I may, I'll, I'll, I'll just take that one. Yep. So, uh, what, what do we see here? Yeah. So, the only patch that has nothing to do with Eurofighter, and I'm sorry for that, is this one here. Um, that is the first patch I was ever given in, the, uh, in, in late 1990 oh, wow. by my next door neighbor, okay. who was a young fighter pilot at the time in one of the F-16 squadrons um, at Han Air Base. Uh, that was his squadron patch, and he wore it with pride, as you can imagine. Fortunately, he passed away, uh, so it has a very special meaning for me. These two also, um, they are from a Eurofighter unit in Spain, uh, one of the two wings there, the Ala 14 Albacete, and they had invited me. Well, well known. Well well known. Well known. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, Los Manchegos. So um, they had uh, invited me uh, to come over to, uh, to see them while they were deployed in the Baltic, uh, in Lithuania, for several months, and um, you know, seeing that up close you know, this is the real deal. Mm. You know, they were there to, you know, to defend the eastern flank of NATO, and they did a fantastic job, and that was the patch they had created for that mission, so that was really cool. Okay. These, all, these patches all have one thing in common. They don't exist in large quantities, and that's what makes them special. It's okay. okay. And there's a Star Wars one. Any Star Wars fans in the room? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Then your most expensive one yeah. in your collection. It's, yeah. it's also one you brought with you, yes. that's this one. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Statue of Liberty, yes. and uh, what is it about? This is a patch from probably 1954. Oh, wow. It was, yeah, it was worn by, uh, by a pilot that flew at the time in the US Air Forces in Europe, uh, Sky Blazers Aerial Demonstration Squadron. Okay. Um, and yeah, this was worn at a time when this squadron was based in France um, for a number of years, and it cost me $700. Oh wow! And you would resell it for seven hundred? I would never resell this one. You don't. You don't no. resell any. No. No. Okay. A real collector I hope, doesn't I hope do. I, I hope I don't have to do this. You okay. This now, now let's talk about the collector's market. I mean, what's the most expensive patch you ever heard of? Uh, probably one of the most expensive patches I saw sell on eBay probably was around two thousand euros. Okay. Anybody here in the room who would pay two thousand euro for a patch? Not, not really. <laughs> well, me, okay. me neither, by the way. He's the man sitting. So that means 2,000 euro for one single patch. Now, you know, there is one patch in the fighter show that is priceless. 
And with that is the Fight the Show, the original Fight the Show patch. Everyone gets who is a guest in the Fight the Show with Flo. And this one is yours. So in a couple of years, you can sell that on eBay for millions of euros. But until then, keep it. That is yours. Thanks for being part of the Fight the Show, Mark. Thanks for having me. Here it goes. Yeah. So for sure, this is, this is one I will wear with pride and I'll put it right on my jacket. But by the way, I will not leave without giving you a patch. As I knew you'd probably give me this one, I, I have one that is uh, actually just designed for you. Oh, now, um, now you make me curious. I'm a member of the Bavarian Tigers. So recently they sent us, or they sent me two of these patches, which come from a tiger meet in 2021. And since you are the only one who made me ever snuff, tobacco. <laughs> um, I thought this one was right just for you because it's the Bavarian Tiger Snuff Club. Oh wow. So that's I hope you wear this great. one with pride. Thank you very much. And by the way, if you look in the back of the studio, there is our personal NATO Tiger and uh, we will wear or I will wear that one with pride. Thank you very much, Martin. Thank you, That's bro. the end of another Fight a Show episode. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Push the subscribe button and may the Air Force be with you. <laughs>